So <laughs> I've just seen the transformation for this, what you've done with this house. So I think it's time you tell the universe, you tell the rest of the world who you are, how, how you come up with these brilliant ideas. Take a listen as I have conversation with Opa Moyo, the interior designer born and raised in Bulawayo, doing beautiful work in the southern part of the African continent. So basically, right, my name is Opa, Opa Moyo. So growing up, how I actually got into design, mm -hmm. basically got into design was apparently as a child, I loved rearranging the house. So I was, I would just change cushions, change the orientation of the space, that type of thing. Right, at, so, at your parents' home. At my parents' home. Uh -huh. So now when it's, you finish um, high school, okay, you're battling, what do I do? And my father said, you are going to design school. Okay, all right. Design school, okay. And but at that time in in Bulawayo or Zen, we didn't mm -hmm. have interior design. Oh, of course. But we had art and design school. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I chose to do art and design and then focus on interior. I mean, textile design. Textile design. Okay. Yes, yeah. because that was closer to home decor, home design, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. And so I did that for three years mm -hmm. as a polytech. Okay. Yeah. After that, graduated worked for um, uh, 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 Qualitex mm -hmm. where we were making all sorts of linen, curtaining, um, sheeting and everything. Mm -hmm. But I knew that I, I was bored. I was like, no, I'm not made to stay in a factory and design on the table the whole day. Yeah, right. I am, my life is more than that. Uh -huh. So after that, I started to pursue interior design online and study online mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and then um I, I found a course and that's how i started to you know i built my interior, interior design business and then i left work that was 2001 mm -hmm. and my father was like start your own thing but again it was networking yeah i didn't want yeah. to i wanted to just Get back to work because it was easy yeah and yeah. i remember i went for a job interview somewhere and i was supposed to start it was mm. sometime in january this was in a fashion studio yes and as i was sitting outside i just felt no i can't this is not me this is not me i need to dive in and um, when the boss um said okay come in now let's sign your contract i said Sorry, I won't take the job. Yeah. And then I started, a month after that, I started my business. Oh, wow. Yeah. But you know what? You, you, the story is a little, it, it, it's, it's touching. Because what you're telling me about your, your parents, your, your father, he was a man be, uh, he, he was a man ahead of his time. He was. For Absolutely. him to see that you had a gift. Uh, a talent that uh, was just blossoming and uh, for him to he was like the wind yeah. behind you yes. you know pushing Absolutely. you yeah. and, and, to, and pushing you in the right direction in the right direction because yeah. he, he could see that you had something there yeah that needed to just come out yes. and grow yeah and and manifest into itself into exactly what you're producing yeah. today I, I didn't know what I wanted oh, wow but he saw it and he was like, this is the way to go. Go for it. Find uh, designs, you know, we, when we found it, I, I, there was a friend who was at the poly doing graphic design. And yes. then I went to check and yeah. Oh my goodness. And I was generally good at art school. Yeah. At um, doing art Yeah, school. yeah. So it was sort of like a natural progression. Yes. Yeah. So 2001, you started your own business. I started my own business. And uh, tell me, did you get some projects that really, you know, propelled you to, to higher levels? Did you get uh, recognized, especially here in this country where we are? So when I first started, my first job was actually, it was a shop. Yes. It was, uh, it was a, like, they were selling um, accessories like perfume, jewelry, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. And even when I look back now, I'm, I'm always amazed at how I did that shop because 
it was like one of the best jobs that I did. Uh -huh. And I was very fortunate because the owner of that business was a friend. Yeah. So he allowed me to take time to find suppliers. I would draw, hand draw everything, you know, all the fittings, the mirrors and everything. So, yeah, that's oh, wow. how it was. Wow. That's wow. how it was. Wow. Mm. And how has it been over the years? Uh, you know, uh, most of us, uh, I always like to, <laughs> to go back to where I came from. Uh, in the in kitchen, yes. in the location, you know, <laughs> basic basic home decor. You have a little exactly. pot plant and some and a, a little uh, mirror, and that was it. Yes. Have you seen an evolving in how us as uh, people of uh, African descent, yes. us as Zimbabweans, yeah. embracing uh, art and design, embracing? Yes. The likes of Opa here, yeah. who transform a living space into yeah. something wow. So, talking going back to that, actually, one of the things that my father and my mom used to say that I would do is say, you know, the grass untanielo. Yeah. I would take untanielo and do it and put it in a vase. Oh yeah. You know, it it was just little things like that that I would take and then make use and then put put it there and oh okay yeah so it was just using things that were available available at home mm -hmm. you know around and because we do have a lot of things yes we do you know we have a lot like udiwo all those little things yeah use them to decorate and yeah. put them here and there yeah and i think in the past we never used to appreciate all our african you know ornaments mm -hmm. that we that are there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but Mm -hmm. Here we are. Yeah, that's yeah. we're going back to that place where we are appreciating where we come back, where we come from. Yes, and we are using those, mm -hmm. um, you know, artifacts or things that we used in the kitchen that maybe we may not be using as often right now. Yeah, but we can use them to decorate. Oh my goodness! I, you know, it, it, just the idea that you would be using the things that we you have in the home. Yeah. to create a masterpiece to create something unique is, is something that is amazing i know a lot of us have things in our homes mm. but we don't know where to place the thing exactly, yeah. or to put it in a position or, or to put it combine it with some other piece so that it becomes outstanding exactly. and yeah. when someone like you comes in and just moves around things in this house yeah. that i've seen yeah <laughs> it is completely transformed to something new yeah. i i am just uh so happy yeah. that uh, a, a young girl from bulawayo mm. is bringing beautiful interior design to the world uh i encourage uh, all of you to get in touch with opa if you do have a design project that you need done information is in the description below please reach out let's amplify the voice of the woman let's amplify the voice and the talent of the southern african woman because there is a lot of talent that we have if you want a beautiful home someone who will come in and help you rearrange and reorient things into your house so that they look as beautiful is what we have today please reach out to opa i you know you have some work to do at my house i'll be happy i have all those picture frames that need to be hung yes. and i also need uh, some help in uh, maybe finding i really want to be very minimal okay. in what i put in mm -hmm. in the house okay. because most of the time i'm traveling <laughs> yes yeah so i would want things that mean something when i get back into the house instead of having a lot of things yeah. that i feel will end up being cluttered exactly so uh, collecting please, dust just collecting dust <laughs> yeah so if you are going to have the time uh you have an open canvas uh, in my home Lovely. so we can work on being minimal but really making it outstanding amazing I, I love doing that so we have a deal absolutely <laughs>
guys so you're gonna be looking at my house going through some transformation don't ask me to see it tomorrow <laughs> because she needs time to think yeah. about it she needs time to figure it out and i also travel in and out yeah. so once we make up time yes. so that we get some project going exactly uh then we we, we can work on that uh, upgrading my interior absolutely, absolutely. i'm looking absolutely. forward to it i am super excited i cannot emphasize enough i feel like it's our responsibility as african women to uplift each other as women of southern africa and uh, african women mm -hmm. the world over when you see talent you need to amplify the voice of that talent and i see talent i see expertise I see an excellent, excellent job execution done by Opa. So please support her business. The information about her business is in the description below. Let's take Africa to higher levels. Anything you want to say to me? Well, audience? thank you for having me in your program. It's an absolute honor. Absolute. And to actually meet somebody that is so uplifting uplifting other women so thank you so much oh and the right. pleasure is all mine so guys we will be talking about house transformation yes. in and around bulawayo harare south africa Zambia. you know when you go to transform a house can you come can you invite me to come yes definitely, ah! definitely. So, I, i'm going to be her assistant just picking up things <laughs> wonderful <laughs> thank you so much for watching be sure to check out Opa. Her information is in the description. Reach out to her. Get your designs done. In the meantime, take care of yourselves and each other. And we'll see each other on the next video. Yes. Bye. Bye.